and good morning people it's friday which means well you guessed it it's been on every every night of the week so far we've got more adamant cup group round matches for you so today we have cubs rule 21 versus soapbox gamer uh, and of course i'm not alone here here uh, in the background, we've got the ever happy Alchemy. Hey, doing our restream in on the tracking, we've got the ever musical Xenocat. And beside me is Def Like, the ever knowledgeable. I'm Poydrak, the ever. Um, mm, Def Like, we, uh, like. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got a race to do. Ne never mind about me. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Good evening for the rest of us. Yes, the time zones and all are. Every, you know, everyone probably being trying to get adjusted to daylight savings time or not. It's fine. Uh, we have a Palom start that that's exciting, though. Probably need probably you know a small grind. Maybe even go take a dive, quick quick check it out line, get Palom online and uh, uh, on gets on his way. I mean, who I love an early black mage because uh, you can you can do a lot of objectives early, especially. Uh, take a quick dive to Eblin, you know, with Quake, though only two of the three trap chests worth talking about uh, that are affected by Quake, so uh, that's a, certainly always a good start. Uh, we'll, we'll see who uh, is joined with Palom. Yeah, uh, Palom, it does take a little bit, but we'll see what comes along. Um, as for our objectives today, we do have the Sand Ruby to turn in and get the character there. We've got defeating the King of the Town of Monsters, the Leviathan spot, always a challenging spot, well, except when only a couple of monsters are there. Uh, trade away the Rat Tail, seeming to be a nice staple, oh, as well as trading away the Pink Tail, which will give you our adamant armor today. Uh, defeat the Baron and Castle Basement Throne, the Odin spot, another challenging in location. and. Conquer the vanilla uh, white spear altar. Not really the hardest spot on the moon, but definitely one that can and turn uh, turn up a surprise or two. And since it's the uh, Zenacat is on tracking, of course we've got complete cave Magnus. How dare he? How dare he roll from harp? How 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 is that happening? Uh, what it's 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 not possible. It shouldn't be possible. He just guys. brings it into being, just by being there. That's all. Yeah. Well, there's some, <laughs> some, so at least uh, when you have the White Spirit Altar, uh, you're probably going to dive, uh, likely to see a Ribbon Room check, because, hey, it's next door. Uh, we'll also see, um, you know, the value of the tails. Uh, when, I mean, that means hook is required, but uh, the, th the thing of it is, is um, you know, you always want to trade the rat tail as soon as possible because the key you want the key item behind that. But, uh, you know, when they, but when you have a pink tail, and you have the hook, you might well, depending on your need for the anim immediate need for anim armor, uh, that you know, you might want that power early, you, or you don't need that power. You know, sometimes it's just like it's icing on the cake. So, hey. It's it's an edge, uh, a freed up character because, you know, usually he's a uh, a lot kind of gated and hey, early early underground dive. That's great. That is perfect for your palom actually. A a one egg does bring him up to virus. Two brings him up to quake. Between palom's early early game and black magic prowess with just that and an edge if you find a couple of decent items which we're likely going to do a little bit of looting underground we are full, full stead to just roll this early game over yeah i i when you cut when there is early act uh, uh, underground access you want to loot there the loot is better it, especially i mean t wall just not it's not it, it, it probably is minimizes a little bit because you can because any chest is just as good but uh they're weighted much uh uh in in the favor of because because they're gated the treasure is just better so you you like you're what you, what ends up being looted is trying to uh gauge at the one the solo tra trap treasure chest in uh fame march uh just avoid it and then hey you found the if you found the trap chest hey everything becomes free you know where you don't need to touch again for a long for even the rest of the seed and everything becomes suddenly a lot more uh enticing yeah i'm just wondering did 
um, Ed would give an item there, or is Cub's rule using the turbo to make um, that box just never appear? <laughs> because uh, I well, didn't see the item. <laughs> yeah, um, right now, it's a, it's, uh, things are happening. I think it didn't seem to be important. Oh, we got a ribbon. Still useful, not the thing, not a key item, but. Uh, early ribbon is good for a, a, cer a certain number of bosses, like Evil Wall, or some probably Evil Wall off the, off the top of my head, be and maybe in oh in Golbez because uh, your character just for the instant death protection, uh, probably ha that has the most value as instant death. Uh, no one wants to die. No one wants to die that quickly, but also uh, provides uh, the highest magic defense and uh, some mage resistance if you run into the Mega Sisters or Jar. No, um, no one is likely to go to pick up Kane today. He, he's waiting on top of Mount Hobbs. But the All Gauntlet is there, so yeah, I don't think there's too many people that are going to help him. He's not the. Personally, I don't see him as the greatest character in this. There are a lot of other options that you can use, especially since we've got a starting edge in Palum. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, uh, We'll leave him there. Let him have a, have the night off. I mean, I love Kane. I, I think. Uh, I mean, he's. I'd have to. I actually probably should put a ranking for him. He's not uh, in this flex in where, where you have a just restricted seesaw. Uh, Kane is like he's just a. It, at best, he's like, hey, I'm gonna pass my equipment to you, seesaw. Have fun. That's 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 what he turns out to be in in seas where Cecil is available. So, but some and sometimes you keep him around because hey, uh, he does get uh, some uh, some decent dragon equ dragoon equipment, uh, especially the dragoon spear, which a lot of a lot of bosses you'll be you'll tackling in some some fights. There are just just so many dragons. Uh, it, it, not unfortunately this game is not called dragon quest or whatever it's fine so yeah uh the sorcerer rope not not what not what you're looking for but hey uh palom's online so uh, everything is at least a go for cubs roll yeah well well ice too oh you know because um, because of the amount <laughs> amount of experience you get there but uh strange that we're seeing some overworld checks before diving underground i guess just doing a few of the quick checks here while we've got this little bit of power uh for in the in the form of edge it just just feels odd that you've got this magma key and are not taking advantage of it well given that it's t wildish like every uh everything can be up to a tier seven at least in this flag set uh when brackets uh with t pro the the treasure around in this area not so hot so it like basically given that all you care is about density and not so much about uh, where the the, tre the treasure is coming from. I, I think I can I can understand the logic behind this. You just want volume, volume, and that's where you get it. And I, I think it's it's better risk to go go underground to to get the treasure. I mean, there's just a lot. There's I think just the fame march itself is pretty dense. Check just just if you. But uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, I think, but because Rule decided, hey, now's the time. I think we're, I think we're ready to take on the underground. And I think, mm. and sometimes you don't have to go immediately. I, I, it's, I mean, you could do it in any order. And I, and obviously, and obviously, you're not. It's not gonna make too much of a difference. But, you know, sometimes like you get something uh, like a Stardust Rod uh, in Fey March. Well, then your overworld kind of speeds up. While the time you spent kind of double dipping some areas will be made up in you know instant damage so the things that will make your uh overworld trip uh much easier than without it yeah uh, of course or those um, as you said those things might be found underground as well but as zeneca did bring up a good point Qu uh, quick check for pan it's an easy spot you're going to get a little bit uh, <laughs> to actually complete a that hand line check if it's the pan there you're single dip in for ball or if if it's something a little bit bigger uh, like one of the objective key items that we require today all, all the better uh, so yeah it 
it makes sense and it's, it's not something that you can't come back to but it definitely makes sense rosa is our character in the spot in baron in today so we've got a white mage on the table yeah rosa is the go-to white mage so you need you just need enough firepower to get through the second spot assuming that second spot uh something uh, nasty like a maybe a Bygen or a a Demus. You know there are there are some bosses that are uh, fat, uh, punchy enough that you will take you might take say a uh, Mount Ordeal's grind effectively to get the uh, enough XP to to take take on whatever is at the second spot. So some which is I mean yeah you don't you don't you're not gun you're not guaranteed to have a Cecil or Tella, but the XP and the key item check is, is usually worthwhile. It's one thing that could be faded. Uh, I am not in up for a fable uh, fade, and but if you have the uh, key, when you have the magnum, I I think a fable fade, at least delaying fable to a bit, is certainly worth the thought. I just the, I've always but I always get the at least the back the feeling in the back of my head. Uh, hey, what if Pan is actually at fable? You know that gates of darkness crystal. Those are those those are kind of those uh, you know things that, you, that kind of creep up and you don't want to think about it. So at least when when it happens, anyways. Mm. Uh, so uh, so box gamer did just give uh, give a quick attempt at that at Baron in and didn't kill one of the guards off not straight off. Had edge minied, so he just reset out 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 of that. We'll come back later. Uh, Cubs Rule has found sirens. I believe he's found coffins as well. So easy experience for Panem. Going to run away with the rest of this early game with that. Also, yeah. I believe found a ninja blade somewhere, likely in the shop in in one of the weapon shops. So Edge is definitely going to do quite well as well. One of the thing, yeah. One of the things I've done, when I, and I've seen some seeds. Uh, at least uh, some, um, when you have an early underground check available, one of the things you actually want to be doing is shopping. You want to look at the few items that you kind of like, hey, must need to get uh, your character online. So, and usually the kind of we uh, the kind of weapons of availability, particular, we're thinking we're looking like cat claws, or ninja swords, or uh, or uh, maybe a gun near. Well, although I don't think I, I don't value the gun here as much, but there are some pieces of equipment that for for end for the you're looking for essentially end game equipment availability. Uh, I think and you you basically you tell yourself when I have the, when I get the money, this is what I'm gonna throw throw the farm at. I'm gonna sell the farm just to get that item. So a ninja blade would be something I would. I would certainly take on edge. I think it's a little too expensive, full pricey. You can probably get some kind of temporary value if you get even like a long sword or a full moon or a mute knife that will get you most of the way there, and then then buy the uh, the, the second ninja blade, which to to set and to kind of you know get edge really online. Hmm. Artemis, I was in the vanilla rat tail chest today. Nothing too amazing. From that but they it is dragon saiyan gear which is always nice to have just need a decent bow to fire them with uh, probably a decent archer because palum is likely going to be set up for black mage things today hey right? but soapbox gamer is also going to go and check what the bosses are likely not going to be fighting them in the current state but always good to know what you're up against especially with this leviathan spot being the okay um uh objective today uh come back for that later that pairing oh so oh so nice you know the evil world decided to migrate away from its home in the sealed cave decided to be the king you know i i <sighs> evil wall probably should, should go back home but that's okay it's fun it's evil wall uh not not something you want to see Especially at a spot where you, Levith, the Levith, Leviathan spot does not punch, normally punch. So that means the uh, attack, po the the attack power it has at that spot is unbalanced and su become they are it's super punchy. So something our, our, our runners will probably avoid defer until 
maybe a moon dive or once once they get actual power overwhelming like even add an armor just to take it on actually you can actually cheese the fight but you the, the problem like you have and you have the ribbon for that purpose the problem is do you you have to get at least you know a quake it to, to uh quake it to quake well quake it has to have quake online first then to have a chance the other problem is you still have to you still have to survive the multitude of punches before that even before that even happens so still right now not a good time you need more characters at least i don't think i don't think even cubs this uh have even done one solo a grind not enough for quake still needs just a little bit more xp to uh to be online for uh taking on uh just that pass alone yeah, it uh, did actually do two uh, sirens, so Quake is available, oh, but even that is not enough. Now, without any decent defenses, yeah, Evil Wolf there is not going to do it. Uh, and yes, yeah, come back to that later. We're only 12 minutes into a, into the seed anyway. There's still plenty of time. You know your opponent is going to have to go through that as well, so it's going to be just you know, just fine to go. Uh, just wait i think this is a good check uh, when you have the when you have the uh um when you have the magma key and you do this check uh it allows for uh, a lot i mean other than luckily getting pa uh the pan first which, like in an line camp uh there's a it i, I know pe i know there's the, the temptation hey i want i don't want to dub uh double dip but you know if the pen is is literally at Sheila, uh, sh at um, pen is at Sheila, t um, just um, and Sheila one, you're you're gonna be waiting a while, and that's so getting it, doing it now, finding up, finding out uh, what's at Sheila one once you do for bull, like immediate, like following at some point, is a is usually a good a good uh, strat. Not it doesn't. I mean, you're not gonna always be doing uh, for bull late, but you want. It's kind of it's like I mean it's also a key item check so it's worth the time and Cubs rule is going for the trap the trap treasure chests which at this with Quake online every match outside of uh, the Mad Ogres should be fine uh, Edge but but then again at that point Edge should be strong enough to take care of each all three Mad Ogres by himself uh, as yeah. long as he's still upright yeah so uh, so Box Gamer is all, is going back for. Or Rosa, you know, taking a slightly different and approach, getting uh, getting the character before or going to do some major checking. And but Cubs are always saying, I want to just make sure I've got all the equipment I need. He found a Stardust rod, rod there in just that untrapped chest, and is just going to likely go from there. Uh, we got. I mean, we also got Hanzo Steel for Edge. That is uh, that 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 already makes the hey that uh, make that dive worth it. Even if you don't come back, it's already it's already pretty good. Uh, Edge uh, the only the only one uh, caveat of having a Mura is that Edge is slower. This doesn't probably won't affect uh, like the overworld, but if you get like a pair of Mura, uh, Edge will be kind of as slow as kind of a Cecil or Kane, which is which is kind of awkward but in different, but. Uh, it's not too bad. Edge has kind of like endless agility growth, so not a concern. But just something to kind of be keep in mind. At least, but at least his uh, magic becomes stronger. Uh, I mean, we don't need really need that much. And full moon. Okay, well, Edge is already practically online. No worries there. I mean, uh, and you can, I mean, you can still buy a ninja sword if when if you feel like it. Just just for just to top it off. Yeah, and he just just put the uh, edge back in the front row, our uh, power row. Yeah, edge, he's fine. I'm yes, he's going to get a little bit of, of minus agility from on the Murasame. Uh, when you're hit, when you've got an extra plus ten and strength now from both the Mura and the uh, power rope, was it plus fifteen at that point? Uh, one of the two. Uh, you don't really care. <laughs> Yeah, power rope plus fifteen, Mora plus five, you minus five agility. I mean your 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 attack multiply really comes off of your strength. So losing that agility, like agility requires double the amount of agility. You need sixteen agility. So to get to power to get to the power you need uh 
it's the sac it's this okay sacrifice. It's, it's okay. And we get an Artemis bow uh, on the Soapbox's <laughs> side. So that, the, uh, that's that perfect was for the world. That was really odd. Uh, Cups Rule just a few moments ago found one as well in Eblin Castle. So two different locations of the overworld. One the Chocobo Forest, one a castle. Both hold a Artemis bow. Go figure. T-Wild just strikes again. I mean, this, I mean, oh, we don't even have to buy, we don't even have to buy the Ninja Plate. We got it for free. Like, I mean, this, uh, this Eblin Castle, uh, is home of Edge and all the good stuff also here. I mean, who, who to think, who to thunk that, uh, all the Ninja stuff is in the, in his, his own home. I mean, I can't, can't say no to that. Well, you could, but it would be very unwise to. Yeah, this flag set, uh, I mean, really promotes uh, kind of the glute goblinism. I mean, I, I like looting. I, I love looting, and it's, I can't. I almost can say no to treasure chest if it's on the way. If it's out of the way, uh, it's it's not it's not out of sight, out of mind. But if it's on the way, it's worth their time. And it looks like Sopa Kramer is taking on Mount Deals. Looks like a leg. Uh, oh, it's full leg. So yeah, I love and uh, taking advantage of Rubicon's weakness. Uh, his elemental weakness uh, is is more effective with weapons. Um, with magic, you have to wait. You have to wait till he uncloaks to use ice magic. But uh, Paladin doesn't care if you have Quake or Virus, a non-element, mm. non-ice elemental spell. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you actually have to wait until he opens the cloak the first time, for, even for ice elemental weapons. But Usually he, he opens it quite quickly because he's a little bit faster usually. But in this spot, fairly slow area, uh, Edge had to jump on him. So didn't quite get the full amount of damage from it, but didn't take too long. Um, Palin um, was there with Quake to shore that up. So Box Gamer moving on to boss two, which is the Baron Guards. I'd say, oh sorry, the Kaipo Guards. So another... Easy boss. We're getting yeah. a lot of those, actually. Yeah, that also means that the well, when when we reach the moon, there'll be uh, less of them to uh, take advantage of. And this, I mean, the the back the back attack spot can be tricky because you essentially you start with you start with the enemy doing whatever it wants to do before before you get a chance to react. And that's in for certain boss battles like uh, Golbez or uh, or um. Plague. I mean, that that turn basically time not not gained is time time completely lost in this, and something like plague where you have an edge in the uh, in the middle slot can turn uh, can turn deadly pretty fast. Yeah. Nothing and uh, nothing too dangerous about the Kaipo guards. So into the room, uh, the crystal room he goes. As we're just about to find out what that item is today. Better be worth it. Hey, it's a package, but we don't need it. If I guess if if the if the if it, like the boss if the character behind that check is, is like a foo, uh, it'll be worth the t worth the time to do most likely. Otherwise, uh, it's something. So yeah, that, uh, there could be a Cecil behind there. There could be a, a Foo, but it's it's it, uh, it's dubious about if those are really worth going through the entire scene just for those two. It's it is a long winded uh, winded process. I think if it was a more of a required objective, then maybe you'll just do it right then and there. Like I think that that'll probably be at least something to push. Uh, but um. Oh, the so when you the um, on Cubs we're seeing you uh, the, that brief um, Mylon Z fight. No, the soapbox game with the Mylon Z fight. Uh, the uh, one thing was very few uh, bosses uh, resist things, and uh, Mylon Z said resists ice. So that ice claw punch uh, did did only half damage. So rare. Rarely did we see that. I think the element spot is also a spot where elemental weapons, for the most part, are not as effective unless you have the matching elemental weakness. So, some something to to see when you when you see a 
certain bosses that not there's not too many of them fortunately like i think pale, just like pale dim and a, and rubicant with this with the cloak um mm. is you, you don't want to be using elemental spells sometimes yeah cubs rule has been in clearing out for ball as we've been talking and and take uh Taken out our antlion in, in the boss fight, got the tau key for that, and Sheila won. And just checking and Yang, and then going back to Sheila to say he's there, uh, gives you the hook. So, character location, it was definitely a required item today because we do have to get uh, hand in both the rat tail and the pink tail. I almost think, uh, I mean, at this point, uh, we it would be worth checking, but then I think it just it, it just make it. Uh, to, if you re if you really need the character, especially when it's a gated character, I mean, I mean, this whole league is uh, our gated characters are Fu and uh, Cecil. So having so if if Fu uh, or um, Cecil is behind that check, it'd probably be more worthwhile. And you can loot. Uh, I mean, if we're still looking to loot, I'm not this point. Uh, I'm not sure we need, really need to loot, but if you do need to do additional looting, this is. A worth a uh, worth a spot to check. Also, with the shop, with the two potentially tier five items, uh, you, which come up, it's the same. It's the same as the underground, as far as I know. But except that you only you get two in the shop here, and that could could prove worthwhile. Uh, looks like, hey, uh, undead dance party here for 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 um, dwarf one. Yeah, I I don't see a the check for the character happening on the hook route now the shop maybe but we've already seen sirens and coffins so we may not even see that what they what's the most that can be down there hourglasses and barkus wine i mean barkus wine would probably be the most expected but yeah i don't see them going down there unless actually i don't see them going down there at all uh, uh cups rule though with uh, with mylon Classic, having a little bit of, uh, ahead of time with it, and it got all the gas down. Does mean that Mylon starts punching and did take Rosa out, so took a moment to get Rosa back up. And we're just about to see who the character is here. Seeing the again the characters from locations such as this or other key item checks, I think would be more preferable to our runners today. Not going out of their way like this, like the package, like the hook route. So we know this is ele this is elements at this spot. Uh, probably have maybe the right is going to be the anchor here. Uh, assuming Cubs wants to take another character, this right it could be just an anchor. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, just uh, uh, some brief moment ago, you, uh, we saw Sp Spokebox Gamer equipping his edge, and you see that those two long swords. Where you compare to Cubs Roll, who did who raided the Eblin cave, um, Castle Eblin has a has a like essentially a kind of behind in uh edge's uh power level it's i mean uh, edge will be fine with two long swords but compared to what was what cubs had looted compared and versus what soapbox has right now uh you you kind of just the edge who right now is going to be driving the seed along with palum you know this is a this is there's a kind of a difference slight and with cubs with slightly more damage potential over uh, for the soapbox that's just based on looting alone yeah it, it definitely also looks like that cub Absol is deciding i haven't found teller i haven't found cecil ordeals i'm just going to ignore it completely until absolutely necessary hey which is good for uh, him because it's only the package and who knows when or if Cecil will arrive and when or if you get a big holy sword for him. So that seems to be his game plan at the moment. He'll just go around to other places first. And having just picked up that Baron key, there's another character check and key item location and, well, two key item locations and an objective location being that Odin spot today. Yeah, I thought... I. There might be a route into, it might be some, it could be a gamble to routing in a basement, but right right now routing a Baron in with with the Baron key is a good is a, certainly a good idea, uh, yes, and it's not and worth it's certainly worth the time doing. Uh, yeah, when uh, when yeah when you're not when you're not 
when you're not concerned about a CISO or Tello, like yeah, I, I can I can it make it makes sense to put off put off the amount uh, ordeals check like what and then obviously it's certainly more, much better a uh, better thing to when it's uh, not when it's gating a key item that you re that's not optional. But if you really if you're kind of like kind of need the key item and you need the XP right then and there, then the grind going there early makes sense when you don't. Not really concerned about the XP, like you. I mean, we did this. We seen the early, uh, an early siren grind. That grind. I mean, you, XP. We're good. Uh, and so, it, it's, it's kind of like the characters we start with does affect kind of the the routing decisions. And hey, uh, Cubs rule has decided to permanently keep Radia as Bahamut is being used. So. Yep, we'll see more. We'll see Blarg in the rest of the seed until uh, we don't. I think, I think you're going so far to get a Radia and use Bahamut. You're probably going to keep her. Yeah, I've, I've brought it up up a couple of times, but most people in this this tournament have come into the these particular races with a plan on what they expect their team to be when going to the final boss, the Romus. Rydia and Palum are great early game um, choices is because they have a little bit of extra power, especially if you, for Rydia if you find one of her summons like Cubsrill has in both Leviathan and Bahamut. So they're good, uh, good to get uh, you started. But they're not usually what you want for the end of the game, unless you don't find anything else. Yeah, it, I think yeah, it's one of those. Uh, can you find someone better at the t at the moment? Like if suddenly if if Cubs find a finds a foo per se, let's just just for example, right, eating Radia becomes a very viable option. You want your spells now. You don't. You you don't. You you, like, you have all the spells you need at a whim. Oh, and this is uh, this is gonna be a slow time CPU at any spot, a slog. But uh, mm. just let maybe just let Edge do things or Quake Quake can do do it. I think we're Quake, waiting yeah, for Quake, Tom's turn. Quake and Bahama uh, will will eat this spot up. It's fine. I mean, Soapbox Gamer has just finished going through the hook route though. Has picked up a pan, uh, a forum who was at the end there, but also found Barker's wine in the shop itself. So that's a little bit of an advantage for Soapbox Gamer uh, uh, having uh, having those Barkers for or the Dirk status, not having to rely completely on Rosa for that. Rosa can continue just healing, yeah, or think... firing arrows, whichever. You, yeah, you gain the advantage for with Bacchus one, and like Berserkers love Bacchus one. That's that's a thing. But more importantly, hey, it's the Cecil. Do we uh, when we're eating? We're eating the Black Mage because uh, Rady, Bah if you have Rady with Bahamut, Bahamut uh, better than Quake in frac in most instances. So that's so that's a like a, that's a no brainer. Give the Stardust Rod to Radia. Uh, she's already practically online, and Cecil we're. It looks like a mount. It's going to be a mount or deals trip for sure, on Cub Rule's side. We found the crystal. Is it? we? Oh, we have the bird too. That's the. That's wait. That's that's, that's too. That's too much fun. How can you? Con, how, how can you contain this? <laughs> and we be from Baron. Uh, that does open up. Objective number one would be the very first objective complete. If couple went there, unfortunately, um, he decided, I'm going to go and get that paladin. <laughs> that vessel I just picked up be a paladin. I don't have a, have a good weapon for him yet, but that's only a matter of time. Yeah, uh, when if if we are able to do forge, then. It, then we're get, we got a guaranteed XCal, which is more than enough to get Cecil uh, Z ready. So it's just a matter of time. There's no guarantee that uh, Cubs will find a legend uh, through through. Uh, even though this is a completion of seed, but there's no guarantee. It could be like lodged in the middle of say, like say uh, Crystal Star Altar for all 
and you know in skipping that or k value you never know where where it would be and might not be worth the time so sometimes uh, sometimes this like you know if you don't need the character sand you can do the sand ruby now for the character like if you really need if you think there's a, maybe a character worth do, getting or if you if you're not interested you can just do it right at the very very end it's not it it's not like i mean you could be routed in if it, it but i think most if you're you would do the sand ruby if you if you think uh your party is not final yet and that's i think at least uh, at least for cubs rule it's pr it's probably looking to be the final party uh, it's looking okay at the moment and i i would definitely say that he is likely looking at at Rydia as a possible person to remove later uh, but cecil edge rosa is definitely a worthy end game team soapbox gamer on the other hand is that uh, that poor room is being left on the ground so likely going to be using her as an anchor but uh again another pretty serviceable team and currently in edge palum and rosa as well yeah uh i mean when you have a rosa forum is very expendable uh i mean there's i mean there are this it's i mean you have to find a character in forums that could be the could have been the radia it's not one of those eh, do you really want do you really want another point like there's there's nothing there's nothing wrong with having forum uh, upright but you want when you when it comes to end game yeah the anchoring becomes much more important than the extra set of uh spells particularly exit but you know an early berserk because and then and that's a very and that's a very uh, useful spell even though we have Bacchus one but you know sometimes you need you want it now and maybe you're running out of Bacchus one mm -hmm. you don't have the money when you don't have yeah. the money then the spell becomes a lot more useful yeah that ready on capsule side is stacked act in mage gear uh, 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 stardust rod uh, uh, ribbon sorcerer robe rune ring everything you want for a radio uh, picks up his package is going to be deciding where to go next after this paladin cecil is the prize up here rather than the package soapbox gamer just finishing in dwarf castle is now heading down to um baron through uh, through the under under underground whatever it is and go to pick up up their uh, sand ruby so not going to be too far behind i'm def uh, definitely he, he keeping it close between them I wonder there'd be a gamble to um go for the basement as that is required uh right but I may not be you know might not feel strong enough to take on that I think it's more Cubs rule is more likely to take take on that than Soapbox Gamer at least at this point in time. That's the, it, it, of course that's uh, you know it's yeah it doesn't look like they'll require quite enough firepower. Uh, it's not quite the it's not even quite the same firepower too. It's uh, so it probably won't happen. But you know maybe worth a gamble if it's like a free uh, free fight like King Queen Evelyn. You know you can get a you can kind of you could probably want, may want to peek, but that's assuming want to peek yeah my um, my, f my friend who watches my races as does every time i don't peek that at spot they will scream at me after the race to say why didn't i at least give it a peek you can quickly reset out of it it's not that long a journey and having that knowledge of what you need to go and be that spot is great and if it's free you don't even need to worry about it on the first trip. Yeah, uh, but you know, we don't really, you know, you don't usually look. I mean, this is not even a boss flag set, you know, hum, a boss hunt. So you would, if it, I think, if this were like, if the flag set were more of a boss hunt, then I think it makes a lot more sense to do it. it that's probably the only thing that would, at least if I were running it, I would probably at least look at it. I think with given that what we have and we're not even doing there's no deep there's no boss hunt no demist for the free item and Bar bedward has the key at, at troya i mean why it, it it i can under it i can understand the the temptation but it's not it's it's i think it makes like something like um you know sealed cave you know with the with with the with the key item check we need the key items we don't care 
that that has that has more value than say picking mm. the barren the barren um uh, um basement. But Cudsworth's gonna probably take on whatever. Oh, it's a value. Uh, no, you're not. Well, it's it's not a bad fight here, uh, but it's still you don't really want to face this Val in this body is actually fairly quick especially since we don't have a good anchoring situation and blinks can come out with rosa uh, but they're not going to be that that fast in coming so yeah this is it's a possible fight but not one that i feel is good right now and the magic spot uh, magic in this location not really a good thing to try I, I, I don't think this is a perfect magic spot, but I think it's one that only gives you maybe one hit if if it isn't if it isn't perfect. Uh, I think I mean the, uh, the yeah this spot I mean Val is kind of like at home. Yeah, uh, it punches it um, and perfect magic defense uh, essentially eliminates Rydia. Pal wouldn't have done any better, so the, the, you can only have one or the other, and if you had, if you had both. You, you, you're wasting your time. And sometimes, you, it's ov obviously as a as a racer, you always want to keep track of which spots. And this is unfortunately not one of those spots. There's not a lot of, of spots where you can actually block through. Uh, like she, even if she, if she has a, a not perfect magic defense, that that's the 255 value. Uh, when you have a behemoth level magic defense, which 254, you can't actually block through that, and you and damage actually registers. Uh, Leviathan. Not worth your time, Quake. Uh, you're wasting you're wasting a turn on Palom. So just so when you, I can at least understand the blog, but now it's like, now you see it. It's like I won't probably won't do that ever again. Try not to. You can, at least at this spot, it's yeah. Valvolith though is coming out. Uh, does look to be coming out on top in this particular fight. The the weak, the raise, the and the punches are just coming out extremely fast. So, Pubble is having trouble just keeping on top of it. And yeah, he's got a few healing items, but you're not going to keep up with that. So, yeah, there's the reset. Uh, so, Box Gamer had it in that at Sand Ruby. Think, um, Sid, uh, Sid was having a nap in there today. He uh, has completed the first objective, our first runner to complete one. Uh, what was the character in the bed? I kind of I kind of missed it. Oh, Sid. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, that's probably yeah. That's not probably good enough for uh and for a, for a new uh, anchor if desired, but uh, probably not not worth the time. Uh, although I think I think for soapbox game where we'll we'll need to look for that anchor late game. Sid, will, it might have to. Given the current party, might have to. Yeet did we already eat the porn? I can't. Um, not too certain. Once we get back to oh, so Box Gamer's uh, main screen, we might be able to see if he took the sit. Uh, oh, we have a pal. No, and um, uh, it, it, it has got the Cecil. Oh, Palm has already been thrown away. So yeah, uh, still, uh, still having the Palom over everyone else. So yeah, our team, um, our teams are very similar. Uh, White mage, black mage, two uh, two fighters. Those just the only difference is one's got a Ridia with Bahamut, the other one's got a Palom with Quake. Yeah, so it looks so prob probably uh, when we get to, when we have to do uh, something uh, with faster, more, uh, more dangerous boss spots, that Palom, the, both black mages will most likely be the first yeeted, and it's just so. And um, it's unfortunate because you need because um, you need to having. Uh, your, your having the proper agility anchor makes your run much go much more smoother. You just uh, you there, there are times when you have especially surprise Blark in 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 the form of a wyvern that uh does it it, it kind of ruins people's days. So there's just there's just there's never a moment where you just where you say I need that anchor and there's always and it's gonna cause an instant reset. <laughs> First, if you see the blarg, you know it's in, almost gonna likely be an instant reset, unless it's like, uh, say, super cannon room with wyvern in it. Then it just yeah. takes a one quick smash and it, and it's gone. But there, there there are not too many of those spots. 
Uh, Soapbox Gamer did have a check of that at Odin Spot. Sorval instant reset. Cubs rule oh, after his reset there uh, has come to Tower Key. Soapbox Gamer right behind. Cubs rule has, has gone straight to the top. Found a Sora. Soapbox Gamer is actually a found found a couple of trap chests. Uh, so could um, although. No, oh, Cubs Rule has done the Eblen, K- uh, Eblen Castle trap chests and found a couple of items for Edge. Um, Soapbox Gamer might be able to just bring it back here. These are slightly lower tier uh, um, items because of the the way the balance is, but it doesn't take much to uh, just pull an Adam and Tama out of thin air. Yeah, alerts are really harmless, and you can one-shot them. You can even stop them before before they can call their the uh, the designated monster at, at, for the for the, for the alert. So not worth the time. Um, the Azure fight is so it looks like double reflex strats are in use, where you just use you just use the star belt on the same character to get the second ref, uh, reflect bounced and applied on Azure. Uh, even with the with the spot having very low spell power. Cure for like on like Tella still does full full HP healing. So it, even while there is a bug regarding uh, Cure Four, you still have to you st- without without any sort of uh, mage uh, mage weaponry like a mute knife or uh, or an elven bow or mute arrows. Uh, you're gonna have a kind of have a hard time uh, punching Azura without kind of triggering. Uh, a Q or four of eventually, and then or you can also try life locking, but that that takes time and, and it works better early game than late game where you kind of need a little more fire. But oh, then it's a ninja sword, so not uh half uh keyless tower, not fruitful at all. Yeah, keyless uh, part of it. Uh, I saw uh, uh, in that particular spot, yeah, it's got quite a bit of uh experience 26,000 but to be honest to get uh, get just an a nothing item in terms of cubs rules equipment and ranks uh, uh yeah he, you can you've got sirens available you can get that back pretty quickly a uh, uh, this leviathan check the uh, uh, leviathan and cannon room, room check is going to be a lot more oh oh well, kept because you have to walk out first. So, the item you're going to keep this one. Yeah, um, it actually means that soapbox gamer is more likely to not reset out of it. I think it was like two long swords, so the ninja sword would be an, a welcomed upgrade as edge uh, with increases in strength uh, is impacted more than any other character due to how uh, his attack power works. Uh, uh, most most uh, what characters. You know, when they gain levels, you have weapons, they gain uh, some decent uh, strength, strength multipliers, um, and, they, and they basically at love uh, with max strength, uh, or max uh, max strength, or max with max levels, they'll get like uh, 48, 48 raw power strength. Um, but Edge, uh, he doubles the effectiveness of strength for when because of the because you know he's special so he gets up to like 96 bonus attack power on top of whatever web attack powers so it's a, strength scaling really applies to edge a lot more than any other characters uh, levels obviously affect yang more so and everyone else is a bo- is normal depend but and so something like so cecil can probably will still you still obviously want a power shirt on any of your berserkers but this edge Amplifies it quite a bit more, but you also have to get his we- get his weaponry up to stuff, which I think at this point both both uh, run racers have good enough weapons. Hey, hey yeah, automated weaponry. Yeah, uh, it's not a it's not a holy sword, but when you pick up an Avenger and you have a Cecil or a Kane in your party, you're always happy with that. So Tower Tower didn't really give a whole lot in terms of required stuff, but. Uh, that Avenger is just fine, and Cubs are always going to move on. Um, I'm just trying to think of places that are sort of required now, and we haven't got much left. We've got the Feymarsh bosses and Valvolus. I think 
at this point, the grind is required. Looks, looks Cubs, Cubs Roll has decided uh, time to grind. Need to be able to power through the power through the, at least the, the king of town, like uh, the king spot of at the at Fay March. At least that, or the val, or pretty much both. <laughs> Just yep. Yeah. yeah. Might as well take. <laughs> and you might as well take out the queen spot while you're there. It's yeah. Just, so yeah, you, the grind you, is down. Yeah, two out of the three of them are required. The uh, the 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 King of Summon monsters and the Baron Basement Throne. Um, you're going to do both of them um, at some point. You might as well. And since we're down to three locations to find our progression, and you might as well just do the uh, the Queen spot as well, just while you're there. Uh, so all three. See, uh, see where our darkness crystal is because that's light, looking likely as our next port of call. Oh, sure, we've got the twin harp of crystal and rat, uh, twin harp of crystal, rat hell, and Luca cave, and pan still out, out there. It's just looking really good. The darkness could be uh, gating at least another one of our our locations, uh, our, our our objectives today. Dark. I mean, even though darkness doesn't seem required, but you still need to pass, if, even if you don't have the darkness crystal. Like, there is a fairly high chance that one key item makes the moon required, so then it's gonna happen. It tends to happen, and I know, I don't know, I'm sure our runners wish are wishing, I don't need moon, I don't need the moon, but well, they have to go. To, they have to go to the moon today. They've got to do this. This white spirit oh, right. up there. Right. Uh, so you can't. Uh, you can't uh, get away from being up there. It's just when is that item going to show up? Uh, is it going to be at the end of all these chains? Is it going to be in the next thing? And everything else is being gated by that moon. Yeah. So it, and probably we'll still end up having the ribbon room ch tested as well. It's just, it's just neighbor adjacent. Uh, yeah. Two, so two out of three, two out of three possibilities that whatever uh, of the bosses that are required are gating the item. It looks like uh, Cubs Rule is looking, checking the, checking the character, hoping maybe, you know, if there was a, if looking probably for a foo maybe, it, just just to see. But it, might, we know it's not. Yeah, it might be just doing this for the character as a. Character and as an anchor, just uh, just did the uh, just did a, a grind. I did mean, here is pretty much the perfect anchor that you want going into both Val at at the Odin spot and Evil Wall at the Leviathan spot. But everyone is, is going to be quicker than Sid. You're going to be you're going to be doing the damage as fast as possible. I think the um, I think the uh, king spot probably is very doable. I think I think both runners have a ribbon, so just stuff Cecil with all the equipment possible, or maybe or Edge put him in the back row and ho and try to and try to keep him alive to um, to the to crush phase and should be fine. That's just, I think that's pro um, either either one of them probably Cecil doesn't it doesn't really. Doesn't matter who who does who survives, but looks like uh, Cubs is doing Val first. Uh, it just came up to yeah, it just came up to the world to pick up that Sid. You don't want to go up, down, up, down, and down too many times. So picked up that Sid. Baron is the closest. Go do Baron. Beat uh, beat that Valvulus is first. Then go back down and take out the two who. Who uh, summon monster locations? Then see uh, where the key items that you gain take you. Yeah, the the thing the thing about Val is uh, her just her just her uh, when she when you don't have a cane and you don't get her out of uh, spin mode, uh, the combination of weak and ray uh, kind of the ray is the distraction, but weak is the more immediate. I need to heal because if Val decides. Uh, the weakened person is the next target. It, it's it's lights out for that for that character. So it's so it's one of those. It's it, but what, once in a while when you leave uh, Ray, you know, hit multi on multiple targets uh, on a target long enough, 
Yeah, uh, and oftentimes uh, a runner does not have a heal potion available or even the characters that have the heal spell available. Uh, it can get pretty dicey. So usually, usually Val requires a bit of kind of quick power overwhelming at, 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 at the earliest convenience. And Yeah. One of the good things about this particular spot, though, is as we are seen by Edge and Cecil, oh, the... The spin doesn't give a whole lot of defense um, multipliers, so they're doing quite a bit of damage to get through this 20,000 hit point, point spot. Well, they're doing 1,500 to 2,000 a swing, so it shouldn't take too long on, with the power that Cubs are always rocking. Well, also that... Uh... Cubs is properly anchored, so this so the law so law doesn't allow Val to kind of run, run amok. So and there and there Val goes. So let's see what the key item is. Hoping for a darkness crystal the, uh, or a key item. Uh, well, crystals crystal ring still very useful. There are still plenty of dragon bosses on 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 the list. So and yeah. also and allows you for. A, agility manipulation which is the, one of the more important things yeah five agility on that plenty of magic defenses dragon defense as well uh, we haven't seen too many of the dragon bosses yet so they're still available definitely had an easier time going through that spot uh, and it is an objective but probably a little bit disappointed that it isn't a key item well we know it has to well has to be uh has to be uh, in the King of Queen, uh, uh, King of Queen Evelyn spot. I mean, Queen Queen Fave March spots. I'm sorry. And that, um, I ideally the 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 darkness crystal is on the King spot because you have to do it. But you know, there, I I'm all in the favor that it's probably on the Queen spot because you know, the game has <laughs> jokes. Yeah. Yeah, and and the king uh, the king spot's required. Queen spot isn't, so the queen spot is obviously the one that's going to give you your progression because it's not required. I think it was elements at that spot. I think we've seen the ruby. I think it was uh, no, uh, elements was at um, the second spot in dwarf castle. Oh, oh, so and I think this was uh, dark imps. Oh, dark imps. Okay. I was... Yeah, dark imps. Uh, we can well, we as long as we as long as we can uh, neutralize the dark imps, uh, gl our glasses become very valuable. I'm not sure if coffins uh, uh, if... that are readily available as well. I don't think we've seen our glasses. Coffins we definitely have, and considering we've got a good anchoring situation, and um, it's fairly easy to get three coffins off and before they get a turn. Yeah, uh, when you, uh, I know it, it's kind of it, oh, it's, oh, it's mum bomb. That, oh, that's it's red. It's something that, red. <laughs> that's a little different, and but um, <laughs> yeah, going uh, going into this evil wall fight, Absol hasn't gone to Eblin Cave, so doesn't have those Barker Swines, which would be nice, so uh, Edge can get instantly berserked. And, um, well, you're seeing how much damage that Evil Wall can do here. Yeah, when it punches, it punches hard. And that, that and, and there's your wipe. You, one of those, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes it's one of those don't know how much, you, how much power you need until you need it. So I think that, I think that's mm. just, that's kind of changed the thinking. So maybe, uh, it could be, could just do the mom bomb spot right next to us. It's uh, the punching, like the Jura spot, is far less punchy. Usually far more magic. But hey, we're gonna try it again because I think uh, leading. I think we need Edge to dart all the things because uh, dart doesn't care about row. It just cares about. Oh, we're gonna cast some magic. Uh, interesting. Yeah, but blink. A blink here cool. is definitely going to be very useful. Oh, get uh, get, uh, get those those images out now to get uh, make sure or evil wall can't hit the target if as as you said if evil wall if you can get evil wall close enough to you that it just goes into crush phase that uh the wit of the fight is basically won at that point with a ribbon it's just going to take a little bit of time if 
if you don't have that, that, those uh, those defenses or the attack power afterwards. Itch goes down. Probably be probably worth the reset because this. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, uh, both of, uh, both of these spots are absolutely terrible. Uh, um, no, um, well, both of these bosses at their respective uh, spots are absolutely terrible. Mom bomb is going to be difficult. Evil wall is going to be horrendously difficult. But we've got to get through this. Yeah, I think it makes sense to do Mom Bomb. Mom Bomb is more of a tank than than a puncher. I mean, it's, I mean that's what Mom Bomb does only punch. But but really, it, a Mom Bomb is effectively a tank because you still have to do to uh, kind of the script. Uh, there is when when you see it going into the uh, exploding phase, it has around nine thousand HP or so. It's probably more. And you have to chew through it. I don't think they have the. They don't. I don't think there's a DPS problem there. It's just uh, you still have to chew through the whatever the base HP is at this spot. It's still like around a little bit more than twenty thousand. Still not too bad. Should be. It's doable. Yeah, I think this bot has around about uh, uh, twenty-five thousand, thirty thousand hit points, which is reduced slightly because Mum Bomb does have uh, the the bombs that come out, which are. Add them um, in that equation, but yes, there is that additional nine thousand buffer to allow this bomb, uh, this explosion phase to happen. We should have more than enough DPS for it, which couple is going right there. Uh, not and the explosion not coming out, and we will get our item, which is the darkness crystal. So there's our there's our progression. Um, we might see him. It, Escape and come back to um, Evil Wall a bit later. I think you still. I think it makes sense to take it on now. Like it, this, it's. T I understand. Like you, if you don't feel like that, you don't have enough firepower. Maybe a foo is on the moon. I think at least the safety save at the very minimum before uh, trying again or or dipping out. That I think it's if, if that like you you, you just in case. What you what you find on the moon is not what you're looking for to come back with. Like the, it, the safety save, at least try to just try it again. If you don't, yeah. if it doesn't come out, it doesn't go the well the way you want it to. Then you know, then you have other, you have the other option on your uh, at your disposal. So you might as well. Yeah, you are down here. It, it does does make sense to do so. But there's also you know, the school of thought that says, I I would need to. Um, I, this is required anyway. I, I'm going to get a lot more power. I'm going to be able to beat this boss a little bit easier later uh, uh, with more levels. It, so, yeah, it's really the travel time. Are you wanting to travel back down into the Fey Marsh? A lot of people, as as you, you're saying, will say no oh, and just get it done now. But there is there is good reason to just ignore it and move on. Yeah, if the, if if essentially if you're not doing enough damage, or it uh, looks like that was a quick reset. I thought uh, that guess I guess that was a <laughs> try it again. Um, yeah, well, yeah. When the, when the time it takes to defeat a boss can be like neutralized. If, if they say with nu uh, Fu with with nuke ready, probably nuke ready at this point. If if uh, we we find a Fu on the moon, then the equation changes quite a bit. That you. you you're not you're not concerned you just have to let as long as you have to keep foo alive you're good uh like i think the rosa being on the floor because you want to keep the you want to keep the berserk and the blink going and uh yeah that's i think it's starting to look like at least from from the these trials uh it probably is not gonna go cubs way. it might not come go cubs way unless uh edge has the ribbon money i'm not sure who has the ribbon at the moment but just keep edge blinked up as much as po mm. long as possible and hope for the best this this might be a good situation where you where if you can get rosa blinked up now uh you might be good well the, the which that, yeah <laughs> yeah it it's going to be difficult to uh, keep edge up now now uh, once the blink has disappeared since he's berserked but if you can get uh, edge and rosa blinked up uh, just sacrifice High Cecil to the wall 
you might be able to stay ahead because you only have to worry about two people rather than three. It might be okay, but Cubs are always saying, no, that's enough attempts. Let's come back when maybe I've got well, an adamant armor. Maybe I've got more attack power on the Cecil. Who knows, knows when he's going to come back? We just know he has to come back at some point. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. I think I think right. It makes it's it's so, it's still a solid op choice. I mean, to go to do darkness, it looks. I think want to do hook to check check on the hook route. This is what it looks like to me. Yeah, uh, might be looking for Barkus uh, Barkus wines. Wines soapbox gamer is floating up in for ball has done a little bit of a siren grind as well but looking for the the trap chest here hoping to pick uh, pick out something big a rare moment of using float in this cave uh, as many runners avoid doing hey it is a power shirt who i think there was already one in eblin castle not sure soapbox gamer uh made a trip there but hey if you missed it there's another there's a power shirt here too it's it that and that's usually quite uh usually helps a lot especially in uh dealing damage uh oh it vanilla vanilla spot for the trap treasure chest Who, who'd have thought of it let's hope it doesn't have a defense board in shouldn't be too bad just let quake kid do quick things <laughs> quick kid stuff uh and uh yeah let's see hope Maybe hope for for soapbox. Maybe if it, if it was like an adamant, well then soapbox gamer is in the driver's seat. Well, it depends on what the what the uh, prize is here, as Quake does does his thing, and uh, decent XP, some levels, at least some decent XP. Oh well, it's a it's an Artemis bow, which we that's, probably have. I think that's the fourth one we found so far. So not exactly what you're wanting to see. Cups will. Did go to Weblin and Cave, picked up, uh, pick up, picked up those Barker's wines. Now heading to the moon. Got that darkness crystal, might as well. It's I, the only place you can go apart from that evil wall. So I, th- I just saw Soapbox Gamer buy a harem robe. Uh, tip- and I find that typically uh, it's usually uh, good, but you have so. But I think uh, right now, uh, kind of changing Rosa into a kind of a dps machine when you when you already at least i think have a decent enough de- decent uh damage from edge and cecil uh that having a third one not probably not ideal you think you want to keep your characters upright especially for this battle i mean it's i think maybe mo- i actually think this is something slightly different i don't think this is for getting Rosa to do damage. I think this is to make her fast enough than Palum that she can get instant berserks off on on Edge and and, Ces- and Cecil just swinging with that Avenger as quickly as possible so that this fight goes easier. I, I, I think I think the ta- uh, um, Heron Rope does make uh, make any or uh, make uh, make her tankier. Although that punch uh, doesn't look like it, but it was. It, I mm. mean, if you had had like a glass hat on top of it, would be uh, icing on the cake. Well, it looks like no, it's straight. It's straight damage, and uh, not not useful because uh, she mm-hmm. she fell at more yeah. than like, not even worth the time. Uh, Problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that was fun because it. Rosa had um, was first covered by Cecil. Cecil has that Avenger equipped. But it hadn't kicked in just enough time for that first cover. So that berserk wasn't there. So had a little bit of a reprieve. But when Evil Wall just says, no, I don't want Rosa doing anything, it just went from there. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. It looks, uh, I, I'm not sure what Cubs Rule found on the altar. But looks like this is here's cave value check, uh, not required. But want to peek maybe for hoping it's a, a, a easy boss check for the key item. Oh, no, it's a grind. It's a right now at least for right now the, a a King Ryu grind. Uh, always worth it because you get back the money. You can buy more sirens later, but you can 
but you spend it now, get your money back, because uh, you'll get you'll definitely get more money than the an egg grind. Egg grind uh, does not give you mu not much money, not as much money as a King Ryu grind. Also, you can do a uh, the life glitch, which we'll probably be seeing here. Uh, although it might be taking a while, as uh, the the King Ryu monsters uh, they have above average agility. I mean, above average, uh, above average defense. Like they have like oh, like a little bit more than a bit more than like 50 defense, which actually that's noticeable because uh, on top of I don't think the Cecil's back row glitch, but uh, it's yeah not it's 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 ca it's causing him to do less damage. So it's noticeable on on some monsters and King Ryu, uh, not not 254 defense like Flan, but mm. it's high enough that uh, the damage reduction is very noticeable yeah i wonder if this is a rage grind i mean because of of what he's um had uh, been up against in that evil wolf fight right because usually there's uh, especially with this particular team there's enough experience on the moon even without tanky items to get you to the levels required and since we've still got a lot of places still a lot of key items still required you're going to likely do a lot of the moon so it's it just feels a little ragey eh, to do uh, to grind yeah it's only one but it just feels a little bit off uh i mean we're not i mean we have i mean this bit between this and just doing a straight uh lunar subterranean dive uh, i mean I'm thinking maybe try to get away with maybe a cheeky check. I mean, the I there's only I mean we have the uh, um, white spear altar that we have to go to. This is not required at all. So it, but we still have. But it maybe just looks like a check. But this looks like also this unfortunately compounds Cubs' time because that minor grind. Well, that's lost, and well, probably we'll have to redo that again instead like there was no safety save it was straight to the boss and clearly not enough to take on uh the infamous nope rope yeah soapbox gamer though is progressing along this evil wall fight All right rosa is uh, is taking um, that heroin rope has made rosa survive quite a bit and rosa also has that ribbon so and artemis bow and a lot it's in crush phrase now Soapbox Gamer is through this fight. Well done to him and seeing how we could get through this. Doesn't need to come back down here. Does still need to do the mum bum fight, but the pan? That's a nice prize. Yep, the, that is a convenience check. You're already in the underground. You're going to do it, but it looks like uh, going away instead of doing mum bum, maybe? We'll see. Uh, it's hard to tell until exits actually cast and Looks like yeah, we're not we're not gonna stay here long. Try to do the other checks, but Soapbox will realize uh, that ha that is that mom bump is hard required. So yeah, the the bad news will come later, but maybe we'll see we'll see if there are other objectives to do on the way through the through the uh, pan check. As there are two key items, one uh, smacking Yang over the head with a pan because uh, that's how you wake up monks. It's the monk alarm clock, uh, I'm sure. Uh, and giving back Sheila the pan, which is part is part of the Sheila two check. Yeah, I think so. What oh, so box game was thinking, and for this particular, um, having got through that evil wolf fight, is saying, I've just got a fairly good set of uh, things. I don't think my opponent is actually going to get through this quite as early hey it's going to be one of the last things let's go and do these if they're say on the moon just by guessing and and they pick up a actual required key item here that they might think oh this might be my way back uh, back ahead this might be my way to win this and thought... we'll we'll just leave the uh, the other one until later until it's absolutely necessary i think uh, like i can understand that uh, i mean if the key item checks pan out then yeah <laughs> yes uh, pun puns uh then it makes sense i i 
Although I don't, I, but I we are not. We'll have to find the conclusion of this. But it, mm. the thing is, is that you know both both races know you have to have done a grind. The 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 way the things have laid out so far has required an early, uh, essentially an egg grind of some of some sort, just to get just to get the characters at a reasonable enough level to take on both the both of uh, the uh, that's unfortunate the. Um, the barren underground, the barren basement spot with, with Val and the and the evil wall spot. So both of them had to have a grind as much as they as much as they have money for. So it's it's uh, and this unfortunately didn't pay out. But the, you know, it's not. I mean, it, there is a. It's not. It's not the worst thing to have happened. I mean, this a lot of times it doesn't. Uh, some certain checks just don't pan out, and we didn't even get. Unfortunately, and the worst part of it is I don't think we got a, key, uh, a kind of a terminal, not so useful key item to get just to you know get the double XP option. And look, Cubs just completed his completed the uh, fight versus uh, to, and uh, and with a uh, snow probe and received the Earth Crystal. So that's probably the first thing to check, I guess, at this point. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna go, if we're not gonna go. I... I don't see him leaving the uh, the moon. To be perfectly honest, yeah, the uh, uh, crystal is nice, but it's not a required item today for our uh, objectives. And uh, so, and you don't really need the characters. You're you're happy with this team, especially after having done on the leveling up that you've done. So. I really think that Cubs is just going to clear the un um, clear the lunar subterrain here, uh, get everything from up here. It's not like the a, a treasury is going to give you anything meaningfully a good at this point either. So yeah, I I see him clearing this. And for not for not checking the the uh, the altar, uh, hey, it's vanilla vanilla foo. And unfortunately, vanilla food not not interest not too interested in that after doing a grind. And I get and I think parties being set has already been set, so I can understand the foo being rejected. Uh, we have our we have I mean, we have our uh, berserkers. We have Rosa. Sid is our anchor. I don't think the uh, neither runner has found the existence of the cursed ring. So having a foo would probably be to detriment because you are not anchored properly without the cursed ring. At all. Yeah, not a whole lot of agility manipulation found. No adamant armors at this current stage. As we found one crystal ring, and and a few Artemis bows, and maybe a ninja hat, maybe a ninja, uh, um, and maybe a couple of other things for our ninja edge. But really, nothing really to make that twenty agility of foo actually any better than bad. Yeah, mages. Uh, mages. Um, in terms of mage equipment, you you just don't. There aren't. You don't. There are really literally isn't any piece of equipment that will uh, make their make their agility decrease. You find that more on the berserkers. I mean, you have the dwarf axe, drain sword, drain spear. Uh, um, even the murazame. <laughs> the murazame. Like there's just there's just more of it on the on the berserker side of things which makes uh anchoring a bit difficult that that's so you and i mean outside of the cursed ring what is there there you can't well, that's that's unfortunate really as, as lord cooper is bringing out ninja hat and a crystal ring does bring foo up to agility 28 so yes that is a great break uh, break point for an agility anchor However, um, personally, cool. I don't like that agility score, personally. But it is, it is an option. I, th I mean, it's mostly tier. It's kind of, uh, isn't it more Z oriented agility yeah. though? That's because because uh, his uh, his natural agility uh, it's sixty nine. And nice. as you know, it's a nice number. Yeah. So uh, it just happens that uh, kind of uh, multiples of fourteen are the are the magic numbers. But this is for Z. Not every boss is 
169 agility. Yeah, that's, just, that's, this, that, that, is, that is one of the reasons why I don't particularly like that particular score. 20, uh, 20 foo is actually, I feel, a lot better. Even... Even for Z, I've, I've gone into Z fights with Agility 20 foo uh, plenty of times, uh, um, so there's not really too much to do it. But if you can make him slow with a curse ring, it's just a little bit easier. But Cubs Rule has Sid for that. So Bots Gamer may just take that out foo instead of Palum. We'll see when he gets to the moon, because he's heading down for his Darkness Crystal now. Yeah, it's kind of the unfortunate uh, part, like uh, the realization. Oh, I, my my go my not Goma, but the the prog progression I need is was right next to me. Right? So there's kind of a kind of time lost a moment where you're like, oh, unf it's, uh, it happened. So, well, yeah. have to do it now. Yeah, and it's it's it, it's a it's a difficult fight. Having gone gone through the evil wall, it it makes more sense. And doing Mum Bum after Evil Wall rather than the inverse. I'm doing an Evil Wall after Mum Bum because Mom, Evil Wall was just terrible there. Evil, you could say. Hey, hey, which is what the situation Cubs Rule was in. Soapbox, slightly different. It's, but you can understand why he exited because of receiving that pen. Hey, we have a dirt. I don't remember a barn in the seed, so it's full, full, full toss that spoon onto whatever boss that makes you miserable, or Z, whichever, which is just as miserable as any other boss. Uh, look, probably gonna take a quick visit to the ribbon room because, hey, it's right there. And uh, also, that is 10 key items, so perfect timing for double XP. Uh, who does and makes grinds easier, but makes just your whole lunar subterranean dive even more comfortable. Yeah, and the, still the only thing that's been found is the Earth Crystal. Oh, very uh, a very long check, especially as a single check to come down from the moon. And you're going to be doing the rest. Dark Knight here, a little bit meta rude. Uh, the, these waves, they're not max damage, but they're still fairly high at 800. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it ignores the fence. Uh, the the cal basic calculation of the of Dark Knight's wave is real. It it based off of the spot's attack power, so it's the multiplier and kind of divided by two or something. And then it's split and does ignores the ignores defense. It's like a stronger kick, but kick actually cares about the defense of the target. Uh, Dark Wave doesn't care, and you just want the cure off. But I think you just—I think you just want someone to survive. Uh, I, it doesn't really matter who. Just and just, I think. But we're, I think we're maybe we're trying to get, trying to get a little greedy, trying to get. Oh, oh no, Avenger. Avenger! Yeah, no. Avenger will do um, bad things in that particular fight. <laughs> so yeah, completely understandable. Oh, oh, why the second reset there? So Bots Gamer has received their Darkness Crystal though. Going to be heading to the moon. They've got nothing else else waiting for them on the blue planet at the moment. And going to find that boo might just head down into the lunar subplane. Might do it bottom uh, bottom sorry top down. So we might see that Murasame also a little bit quicker. Yeah. So one of the things about uh, I mean. One of the things about this fight is uh, only pun if you attempt to punch it, and if you miss, even if you miss, uh, Darkness Cecil remembers this and will do even more dark waves and then yell at you, stop attacking me. Uh, that's es that's essentially what it amounts to, and you don't ever... And that's one of the things about the Avenger, a uh, uh, quirk of the Avenger is it uh, starts doing the self-berserk when that turn is reached by that character, but only in the order in which the ATB arrives at. So... So if so, when Cecil was placed at the pre previous position, uh, Avenger did not go off. But when the but when uh, moving Cecil around uh, and it got to Cecil's turn, uh, you know, it Avenger does Avenger things, and so that's and you didn't want that. So, mind, much as uh, I like uh, mindless battles with Avenger, uh, you can't actually do it. This is which is why you usually try to have uh, the character leading off with. A different weapon like Excal or, or a Crystal Sword before putting on the Avenger because you yeah. only they're, they're just they're just battles where you just cannot do that. 
Yeah, or in the case of that particular fight, having just your fists out is a lot better uh, because you don't move. I did find a white spear, which is a one, an, another wonderful dart for Edge, as well as the rat tail. So another objective is ready and waiting for Cubs Rule once he gets down. down. But I still don't see him completing anything except the moon here. Yeah, we're st like right of the objectives that are left. You still need about two. You have the in the tails and then the harp for harp and yeah. The, um, speaking of bad fights for an Avenger. Yeah. So especially one, in this particular spot. So what the the spot. Uh, the Ogo spot has incredible amounts of uh, spell power. That in turn makes virus. Uh, see, see that damage? That's a lot. That's yeah. That's why you were set out of it. That that's that's Palin being bluffed up levels of virus power. That is, you don't want to face a, a virus is there. Uh, a, unless you've got a good way of actually dishing out the damage quicker than they can, which really doesn't... I think Crystal Sword is the only option for that, and even that is dubious. Yeah, you're, you're gambling a little bit. You have to, you would have to essentially blast them quicker, and you, you don't have the... you don't even have the Crystal Sword to do it with, so it's not a not a thing. So you... so what, what tends to happen is you want to go with Reflex Strats. Just you wait till... The D Lunars uh, use breath, the, and it gets reflected. One of the few boss not not the boss bits not set, and one of the and only one of the rare monsters that get to use on them effectively use it on themselves and mm -hmm. makes the fight very, much more trivial. Even if you get one of them, it's it does you uh, a world well, of good. It's not quite that the boss bit isn't set, it because they are they do have the boss bit. It's more that the fact that breath ignores the boss bit so uh, that's why uh, the d lunas can breath themse uh, themselves i i kind of oh, should have said specifically that the the spell itself does not have the bot does not check for the boss bit it's a, yeah it's non-set so yeah that's that's kind of what i meant yeah so when you as much you see that happen you want to attack the frog so the frog can't wall and then you just have to focus on killing the uh, the the one that's not frogged remaining. Usually, ideally, you have both frogs. It then becomes super free. But now you have to focus on doing all your damage to the non-frog D lunar, and watch while the and then watch the D lunar uh, kill frogs because yeah, uh, with that ultra powerful virus because wool didn't get. Um, <laughs> didn't get to, uh, raised because you hit the one that was casting it and frogs can't cast wool uh one artifact uh, i think uh i think cubs just uh put a kind of avenger glitched but in avenger glitched the fists so cecil's doing uh fists berserk damage not uh, avenger damage which is what which is unfortunate it's what that's kind of one of those things where you need oh it's very handy to have a backup weapon for cecil or you're, you're gonna have a bad, bad time. Yeah, uh, punches unless you're a yarn don't really do too much. But Edge, you're always counting on Edge and Rosa in this particular fight. Cecil was sort of just back up. Uh, Pink tail though, that's another objective done. Uh, we're just looking for the twin, twin harp. harp now. Ow. And Soapbox Gamer is heading in the correct direction and just about to do the has picked up that foo and is just about to do the White Spear Altar, likely very quickly after that, the uh, uh, Ribbon Room and the Ogo Pogo Altar or Mazamune Altar. Yeah, so what does one of the things just to note? Uh, so some may think. Uh, wouldn't an adamant be good enough for virus? Uh, no. So one of the, the um, unlike a lot of the later Final Fantasy SNES games, or Super Famicom games, uh, vi uh, magic defense, uh, th th such armor doesn't exist. Even adamant only gives twenty points, and the spell power of a virus is one hundred twenty-eight, and that's still a lot of spell. And so. 
the folk if you're trying to focus on ma raw magic defense you're, you're kind of wasting your time you want you want magic evasion multipliers and magic evasion percentage you don't you don't want you, you want to avoid many although there at that point at that uh, although even at that spot there's just a really high spell multiplier and the best the best uh, uh like max stat rydia with um max wisdom and will it, you only get nine spell multiplier and that's at level 99 you're not you're not gonna evade that you're not gonna evade the magic damage from that spot this is just, just not possible so you just have sometimes um making using the right strategy at the right time um is is the better call instead of trying to try to hope for the best armor Strat strategies will get you through more than uh, straight equipment unless the, unless you can unless the equipment is accessible and adamant is not even more while more accessible in this flag set not always available hmm. or, C cups rule has decided to skip the moon moon and um, after that pink tail rat tail got uh, got the adamant armor picked up the pass from the rat tail l but is now going to go to the a, a wolf fight at the king of summon monsters location we know this isn't uh, we know this is pan which doesn't lead to anything so our progression towards that twin harp no matter what is actually there is actually still up on that moon it's either at the murasame spot or the crystal sword altar there's also the Earth Crystal spot. The Zot spot oh, has a key yeah. item that's left. Yeah. So it, uh, for Cubs rules, uh, for it, for the favor of Cub rule, it would have to be at Earth Crystal. For Soapbox Gamer, I mean, it ha would have to be at the other two, the Crystal and the Mora spots, which are which were skipped. So we'll, the, it depends on what what we have left. Well, we, we will compl we will know the, essentially the better. We'll have a better picture of of what's left and we still have and it could still we still have like a gating key item in luka key which could be uh, uh where the where um the twin harp could be so it's not it's, it's what's left on the table we will find out and uh it's kind of it's kind of strange i mean an understood cubs rule uh exited out but um i think full clear full clear of lst makes them is makes most sense you, there's just kind of too many there's still too many key items still on the table yeah and evil ball even at, at the higher levels that uh cups has got that cecil um didn't stand a chance <laughs> heck even rosa might not stand a chance but edge does have the adamant armor so this is really just letting edge do uh, do his work uh, and going from there really it's nothing much more than academic, only being hit for one. Yeah, adamant armor, back row glitched. I think black, I'm pretty sure back row glitched. Uh, per, very safe. Uh, when you have 100 armor, you, you're in the back row, your armor, your affection, your defense is doubled. So adamant armor doubled to 200 and no boss has 200 attack power. You're fine. You're, you're not, you're not. It's it's uh it's it's pretty given that uh Cubs rule will have no problem with an adamant armor edge, probably if it's, up between, it's either between having put in on edge or Cecil like edge. Uh, I don't without without Cecil having the crystal sword, edge is the next best thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, a soapbox gamer has has just got his justice speech though, so just about to pick up his rat tail and wonderful shiny white spear. Well, it might need a little bit of polish, but uh, just about to pick those up. Up two hundred thousand experience, ten, uh, ten key items for him. Um, still, <laughs> still no holy swords, but uh, so that Cecil isn't exactly online for either player. Uh, uh, but uh, Edge uh, definitely is bringing that along, and the, the addition of food is just helping him sort of. Sure, up and got through that uh, fight against the Dark Knight fairly quickly. Uh, looks like Cubs Roll just wanted the Silk Web for Z as a uh, so, um That that is the only steel item from the Centipede. I think it's not the worst thing. I mean, could it's 
you do I mean you were you had plenty of access to uh, sirens so and you have an edge you might as well steal it don't have to look check friend shops you have a direct access and that's you know sometimes like uh, I mean checking shops is time as a time consumer so I, I completely understand and in the worst case is if it doesn't even appear in a shop well where where's your access there's hey that's a, that's you that's a secondary utility of sirens it's not just for your grind it's for stealing that silk web so z isn't uh, gonna punish you as much yeah i do believe they were found in in uh, a shop because i've I think Soapbox Arts Gamer has got three of them, and so has bought a few. Uh, but if Cubsville hasn't gone to that particular shop, which is quite likely, a, um, the um, stealing one, and it's not exactly a, a slow thing to do, yeah, no, d- just do so. Got an overabundance of, of sirens anyway. I picked up quite a few more than he actually needed. I mean, I've seen, I've, I have seen, uh, you know, seeing Edge try to steal some uh, Bacchus wine, uh, you know, off of ogres and mad ogres. I mean, why not? There, I think ogres are easier to steal from because uh, steel is dependent on level, and and you having being more over leveled helps. And uh, well, Cubs Rule has found out the, the the what the pan led. So time to do Zot because that's all there is left from um from what was picked up yeah cubs rule is going a slightly different route here um has brought uh, brought up um some artemis arrows and yeah the d lunas have put up their wall uh doesn't matter when rosa is doing six to eight thousand per shot it's a good imitation of Cecil Cecil Classic Burr. I mean, who can I can, who can say more than you know over six thousand damage? It's always it's it's a good time, and Rosa has reached her peak spell potential. Doesn't well at least in terms of spell power. Uh, of course, the reward is certainly worth the time. But could uh, Soapbox looks we'll we'll see where Soapbox is going, but. Cubs is hoping that uh, Harp is behind Earth Crystal. Yeah. So, uh, so Box hasn't done that particular uh, uh, Cave Bahama uh, check, so not got that Earth Crystal. It's looking like he's just going to save here. Uh, is he going to uh, save Scum um, and check this, twi- uh, this rat tail? It, it feels unlikely, but... It is just one check to uh, to go mode, so might just check it if it's not uh, uh, if it's not that particular item as being the twin heart up, coming back and then uh, then continuing on, not worrying uh, not worrying about what he gets and just coming down and do it again. He did conveniently move the uh, hovercraft over to that spot, so he doesn't have to move that again. And great, uh, great awareness to do that before going to the moon. Yeah, when you're done with Evelyn shopping, you you want you p- putting the hovercraft um, at, at the tail spot uh, around Silvera is a good idea. Uh, sometimes uh, leaving the just even moving the hovercraft back at the end en- at the entrance of uh, Evelyn Castle, like if you're gonna do some sort of routing, um, you know, giant into to, to the fa- uh, hook route. Because sometimes you get a magma key early, but you still have to get the falcon. That you know, moving moving your uh, moving the hovercraft where it needs to be when you need it is always a good thing. Oh, it's the pass. So uh, certainly very nice, but you know that uh, it's a reset because that yeah. is not the key item you're looking yeah. for. Yeah, the the pass being there just screams, "Come do, uh, come get these after you found that twin harp." Don't worry about anything else. They're not; they're, those things aren't moving. You've got the hovercraft there waiting. Just, uh, just continue on. Find what you need. Aid. Soapbox gamer is banking, um, and he doesn't know it, but he is banking on the twin heart being up here or from one of these checks up here. Yeah, Cubs rule is banking uh, again. He doesn't know it on this. this Earth crystal play. 
Uh, Mr. Ha Ha Ha, great time to be in a, a fast and also a high spell power spot. So uh, we're just going to see uh, Gobes uh, murder himself. If he, uh, but Edge doesn't care because Edge has Adam armor. Uh, so Edge will probably land the killing blow. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a virus here, but it's not the Ogo Pogo spot level of spell power. It's not quite. So, yeah, Edge is perfectly safe here. And, well, um, Soapbox Game was found free. Hey, see, we were talking about that much, much earlier, like an hour ago, how, you know, free spots going, going quickly. Well, you know, King Queen Evelyn, at, I think this is the Crystal Altar. Yeah, good times. No one, you don't have to worry. I think, although maybe right initially deciding, uh, let's just uh, burn down King Eblin as, in terms of the script, King Eblin for ordered for Queen Eblin to kind of, uh, t um, kind of take a nap. Uh, King Eblin has to go first. You don't, want, you do not want to focus on Queen. To, you don't want to DPS down the Queen. You want to DPS down the King. Otherwise, uh, you're just. Kind of wasting time. You're just pouring time into uh, into one boss, where you yeah. could just you could wait out. But I think burning down the king it makes more sense, because uh, yeah, yeah. Once and once the king Aang is dead, the queen is is scripted to uh, 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 leave the battle. However, there is another sort of script in the inverse uh, of the queen. If you do kill the queen. The king still does his free fire twos. However, if the queen is not there, he will just disappear without actually doing his speech. So, oh, That's there is there is go mode on soapbox. Ah, uh, yes, the it the, actually completing a uh, moon LST fully fully required we don't care what's on Mur and uh yeah. first of all, and, and cubs is uh yeah cubs, cubs is, cubs is going hole. down a rabbit hole he yeah. has found he has found the hole that is going to uh, he's going to get down here he's going to look at the item and just go darn so box game was going i am happy i i i reset out of that at, at path now i can go down pick it up pick up my adamant Go do a wind hop. Take the Tokobo back to Boya. I'm directly there, ready for the Romus. Yeah, I, <laughs> the I think Fu now being the anchor will might make the Z fight questionable. But I think what we have two healers. You have power. Kind of try to do Berserker power overwhelming with Edge and Cecil. It's usually more than enough. I, I, I mean, I'm not sure what the HP levels of Rosa. Or and or uh, edge happen to be, but the, like you ideally want to have over twenty seven hundred HP available, just in the case of a full worst case big bang. The, the yeah. uh, you know one of the magic numbers has had uh, double XP on the three biggest spots, so the ribbon spot, the uh, the um, Mazamune spot, and the crystal sword altar. Uh, they're the three biggest experience spots on having double experience for that is amazing so should have plenty of levels ready for the, the Zeromus fight to come up well Cubs has figured out what what has to be done unfortunately the, the legend sword forge is not required not what not what you're looking for but then we know that uh, Mora is point is useless pointless so. yeah uh, but we're I think we're in time for music to almost to, to yeah. end the seed. This is getting good. Yeah, I had a quick check of of Rose's as level. It is level uh, level fifty, so twenty two hundred uh, hit points. Has a white shirt, plenty of defensive gear. I don't see her having an issue shrugging off some of the more powerful big bangs. So looks looks good on soapbox gamers uh, uh, side it's just how fast can cubs rule find that twin harp and i think it's going to take him a while because if he's going to go to Maz uh, murasame spot first likely yeah uh, i'm not sure what's left oh, maybe hopefully it'd be uh and uh whatever whatever trivial spots remaining left i'm not legend, sure a legend sword legend yeah, sword. Le 
the legend no the legend sword was at the uh at the mag uh luca cave the uh, that's oh right, there, there, there's nothing. There's nothing yeah. that we, if we've yeah. seen everything. So it I'm could just thinking be of bosses. Thing. I'm thinking of boss. I'm not sure. Like we, oh. we're hoping for a, like a, a easy boss that's left. I'm not sure what's on the table at the moment. So yeah. Um. Uh, so soapbox is uh well trying to <laughs> trying to murder yourself. So you get on with the cutscenes. Uh. Well, hope this should be a fast fight. But uh, we're here for music. There are so much music, like over the uh, 400. Uh, song songs harp songs so yeah let's uh, go listen to it yeah enjoy we'll be back um, in some point We interrupt these messages for a special announcement. Blog. That is all. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think this is uh from F Final Fantasy VII. Uh, that music when uh you know Eris uh falls due to uh that one that well known event. Yes. And that's that's all that needs to be said. And but. All we yeah, hear we, is we, we don't give spoilers here. <laughs> it's uh, certainly uh, great music uh, from uh, from. Uh, I'm not sure who, but I think Xenocat was involved in quite a bit of the um, some of the music, art music involved here, and he's tra and he's tracking, or he's tracking. So, yes, give a give a, give a hand for that. But uh, yeah, yeah, Soapbox Gamer though has. Their crystal. I thought we left that in Baron, but that must have been a cheap knockoff. And is ready and waiting. Well, someone is ready and waiting at the end of this particular pass. Our store. Um, yeah. Apparently, we don't know who because, well, we don't actually keep this person the same. I mean, we tend to just give him a makeover because we can so what what's going to happen is well so boss is going to go up throw a a crystal at this particular blob of evilness ask a question and then we'll see if you would like to do the honors death like yeah but uh, i'm missing I'm missing something here, though. Uh, well, right now, while, while, while we're waiting, uh, it looks like uh, trying to fi find the appropriate weapon for Cecil, because uh, having having initially equipped Avenger for the Z fight is it's it's a bad it's a feels bad man moment. So, tr just remembering the Avenger, you know, the Avenger and initial part of the Z fight, not interested in trying to suffer through that. Uh, Hey, uh, I see flags. Uh, it looks like, I mean, it's 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I, I guess I could take, I could, I could sleep early. Uh, I don't think the same, not the same case for you, but for for uh, those in North America. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I, I'm in, I'm in the UK, so I'm, yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a similar boat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you should, I think they're they're telling us to sleep, but no, 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 it's not. That's not what those flags are for. It's uh, it's that it's that question because we're approaching uh, Zeromus and because he likes to cosplay, you know, we, and one of the things in the randomizer, we can we can make him look like whatever we want. Uh, moving Z is pain in the rear, and no one wants that. 
but the question has to be asked, uh, who, whose butt are we going to kick tonight? We're just about to tear off that mask. We're just about to show his true colors. We're just about to, uh, to uh, slice and dice and all those other sort of, lots of words. But uh, yeah, we've got to throw a crystal first. Yeah, uh, I think it's unfortunate that Edge is the first one with the crystal. You want that f the, the the middle slot, slot character, Foo, to be the one because that, that doesn't really matter. It's it's one turn. We'll get to do. We'll try to be more productive. We'll uh, we'll see. We'll see what uh, Z turns into, and we might get another crystal. Must another song reprisal because Cubs is doing. Uh, and that that finger on edge. <laughs> um, that is called the boop maneuver. Boop, the boop on the nose. How how quaint. Yeah, we um, King Cosmos knows who, who's going to do a whole lot of damage in this particular fight. Right, the only uh, the only defense that he's got is literally to try and boop his way out of it. Almost, almost, uh, Rosa almost uh, taken down. That that rolled really, really well for for Z. Not for, not for Zuffbach, for Z. And uh, mm. that, uh, looks and uh, yeah. Let's look. I'm hope. Try, I think they got the, the silk buff got off because that that is totally required for uh to reduce the misery. I mean, want to throw the spoon and then try to get berserk on on um edge as, as soon as possible looks like we're gonna get some reflective nukes because hey we can why not and z doesn't uh doing uh spell f spell reflected damage uh doesn't trigger a counterattack, which is you know one of many uh features or bugs which whichever however you want to call it uh in uh, final fantasy 4 we'll just go with grip because that's essentially what it is it, it's just a it's I wouldn't say it's a, it's a bug or a feature. I think it's just an, it's more of an oversight in, the, in this particular script, but it's one that people have taken advantage of, of quite a bit in, in Free Enterprise and will likely stick around for a while. Maybe, maybe there'll be a day that they'll fix it. Maybe not. I don't know. I think it, it's, it, it would, it, it may, it, it may allows for uh, some, some interesting uh, triggering or not triggering of the Z refill as one of the one of the artifacts of Z is not triggering the refill. Uh, so ha so to it, due to uh, codes and bytes, you know, you not not having enough bits, uh, Z uh, a monster can only have up to around sixty five thousand HP. Uh, you know, because binary and such. But and the only way to to kind of get clever is to have a refill to kind of effectively double HP. It's it's kind of how the elements fight works in vanilla. It's the same. It's the same principle. It's a little well. It's a little different in, in how it's how it's actually done in in uh, uh in the elements fights. But the same. It's the same idea. You, you don't trigger the you don't trigger the ref, the refill. So effect the HP effectively is half of what is possible of the, uh in zero miss but we're looking we're doing hybrid threats so we are more likely to trigger it just on uh the berserk character alone yeah uh, look uh, looks like uh, we are you know, looking uh, looking set for uh, uh this to be finished finished up big uh, nothing the big bang looks like it went off pretty well oh uh, uh, so this should be nerfed which it was and uh yeah quick cure continue with the damage and honestly soapbox game it looks like this no uh, this fight is finished it's going to finish very quickly after this edge is now swinging for uh for all the damage it cecil's been doing a lot of work so we should be seeing rocks and the end of this fight pretty soon if we see black holes first yeah, uh, the I mean the art, art at least the Artemis bow swap is paying off as uh, Cecil probably would be doing the most damage. I mean, you we're gonna use Rosa for healing exclusively, 
and so no time for uh, for another Zerker. You don't need. <laughs> you definitely do not need another smoke. And should shouldn't be too long for Z to uh, finally take the nap. Uh, the M uh, Fu will reclaim all the MP. I mean, wow, Cecil's the perfect battery for all that Fu MP. I mean, Fu with his starting 190 MP, Cecil having just enough to get, don't not even need a elixir or an ether. Yeah, one of the things that is a small issue is that back that uh, black hole did it stop the berserk uh, uh, on Cecil, and he has used up all the Artemis arrows. Does have some samurai arrows in reserve, but uh, still got to uh, got to get through the rest of this particular fight. Right, right. Cubs rule is right on the heels, so any uh, so bots gamer doesn't have any more mistakes that he can make. He's got uh, he's got to get uh, see this through as soon as possible. Yeah, I think for this for this already the hybrid is most likely going to be because. Uh, Having berserkers uh, are usually a bit more safer uh, when you ha if if this team were more uh, more mage oriented you'll see you know like a palom and a ride is still around um, you know the 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 fight um, especially at a battle speed one you do not you, you really don't want to be a battle speed one with uh, with with a uh, with full reflect uh, capabilities probably want to kind of lower the speed down to the standard uh, battle speed three PS three. And oh, we're at rocks phase. We are it's at rocks, so yeah, uh, it, um, we are going to uh, see a finish very soon, and plenty of hit points on these characters. So it's just a matter of when, or is Cubs Wolf just going to sneak in just underneath the time? Well, there's the shake. We're just waiting on our official time. Yep, GG's to Soapbox Gamer for completing this at at least under two hours, which is always it's always a good thing, for, a good thing for all of us all involved. Uh, yeah. And we have had a, got a scene in confirmation now on the screen. One hour, fifty-two minutes dead. Well, Z is dead, and our winner is Soapbox Gamer today, moving to a one-and-one -one record. Yep, certainly a good match. Uh, one, uh, I think we kind of probably missed mentioning it, but uh, uh, looks like uh, Tella replaced the kind of not at stock level Sid, so just to to prop to re properly anchor, which not a bad thing. Sometimes you're at, with too many levels, your anchor kind of goes out of sorts, and you can replace them when you have when you have more characters available. Replacement is always not not the not a, not the worst thing to happen. And I do believe we have now been joined by Soapbox Gamer. Congratulations on your victory today. How, how does it feel for you? <laughs> Feels pretty good. Although, um, does anybody need an Artie Bow? Because I think I have a few left. I mean, oh. it's, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Like, like like Oprah says, you know, here's an ad you have an arty boat, you have an arty boat, you have an arty boat. It's all under your chairs, folks. It's all it, it's an arty boat for everyone. Yeah, it does give agility and strength. I could use one, but nah, uh, keep them for the next seat. <laughs> so it, it feels good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> First win on restream. That's history, folks. I'm very proud. Yeah, and against Cubs Rule, you know, not a terrible runner in in the slightest. And how? Okay, he's, no slouch. he's no slouch. No. <laughs> uh, how did you feel about our fame march today? Uh, gross, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It I just kind of expected it, though. <laughs> yeah, just looking at it, it looked terrible but you're the one that had to face up against it. it there wasn't a whole lot of items that you had at that point when you got through it fairly well with the heroin robe artemis bow rose a combination with with the ribbon as backup uh, um, and and then sort of had to disappear for uh, from there for uh, a fruitless pan check but how did you feel going in 
once you had cleared everything from that, uh, finally to get the darkness crystal, oh, how how did you feel in the race at that point? Did you feel confident in what how where you were or behind or anything like that? Ooh, loaded question. Love it. Um, realistically, when I banged my head against Mob Bomb and I banged my head against the Evil Wall. I figured it was like, well, I either grind and get through it now and knowing that there's probably something there and I just kind of worked my way through it. But the second I saw the darkness crystal behind behind my mom when I came back, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there and was like, I feel extremely behind. <laughs> and then it compounded upon the fact that the second I land on the moon and all of a sudden there's a vanilla Lafu sitting there and I'm just, I just start laughing. I'm like, Cubs has to be finished by now. So, but it wasn't going to deter me from what I was going to do. I was like, look, you have to go as fast as humanly possible at that point and then just roll the dice and see what happens. Yeah, I think, and it turns out, uh, like, I think Cubs uh, got to the uh, got to the moon first, having uh, struggled with uh, with um, with the wall. The <laughs> did mom bomb first. I mean, you 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 had decision to do uh, mom bomb immediately after doing the wall. I mean, you had when you went, which they got uh, took took out evil wall because that's, that was the requirement. Uh, you you um, you uh, what was the decision behind that? Uh, not to kind of skip uh, queen the queen spot. I, um, at that point, I was exhausted just from looking at you all, and I was like, well, let me, there are other places I gotta look that's not gonna take me that long. Let me go back. Let me go and, let me go and turn in the pan and everything else, and let's see if there's something else that will let me skip the other spot. But the second I got funneled back, there was like, well, at this point, I might as well blow it up. And then the second we got through the rest, and I was like, okay, now I have everything I need. Realistically, I knew by the time I got to the moon and I stepped on the gas, I figured I would... I'd have more than enough one. I thought I was like, you know what? I can work with this party as is, you know, I got to the moon and I thought to myself, I was like, I'm not dropping, I'm not dropping Palm unless I see a foo. Obviously I see it. So I sit there, I'm like, okay, that's less I have to do, which is, I'm ecstatic at that point. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, Cubs is already here. He has all this. So I and, just kept going. Yeah. And, one of the things that Cubsbrill uh, did was do the Cave Bahamut first, which gave him the Earth Crystal. And fortunately for you, that actually drew him away after doing, uh, after picking up that Rat Tail and Pink Tail. So he went back down and, and, de um, and dealt with the Earth Crystal, which led to Lucy Peak. Uh, you stayed up, 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 well, you did do a quick check of that rat house for the path there and thought, yes, thank you, uh, before he reset him back. So you sort of had that little bit of advantage there, not picking up a key item. How, with, um, with that knowledge, how does that feel? You no, know, because it must feel a little odd having that happen to you. It was the first time I've ever had the safe scum sitting in the bottom of LST and then going back down to going back down to Earth and checking both tails. The second I saw the pass, I knew I was safe enough to say, look, I can blow up the moon and then come back. And the second I did that and all of a sudden the twin harp sitting there at the crystal altar, I'm sitting I'm I'm like, okay, I felt like I routed it okay, but it was still it still felt kinda clunky. But I knew at that point, I would have had enough experience. It's like, okay, I can go to Cave Magnus. I can finish up the last objective. I know I have a pass. I can immediately just go straight down and through the pass and hopefully just get in the mix and see what happens. I was ecstatic that it rolled out that way, but it was it was still felt a little clunky, though. Sure. I, no one no one wants to escape safe gun unless you have to, but I mean, you don't. You kind of don't want to abandon the moon that quickly, which is one of the things uh, Cubs did, which kind of which probably uh, fa fa helped you out. Uh, so uh, it's good to see that you uh, um, took took some time to figure out uh, Cecil's weaponry in the Avenger uh, for Z. Uh, there's some Avenger uh, fun to be had uh, in some earlier fights. Fully trade an Ardebo later for a crystal sword, but that was the first time I never, I didn't even have an Excal or let alone, I debated a light sword early, but I'm like, I don't want to spend all my money. 
because I know at some point I'll need it. I, I knew I need to make one final buy, and I didn't want it to be that early. So I held on to it. I was like, I have enough arrows. I think I can work with it. I have a heroin robe on Rosa. There, there are things I think I can work out, but that was honestly the first time I've ever went to see with Cecil wearing and wearing an art Evo. And it was, it was interesting yet strange because I've never had to do that before. So I, you know, I never realized how many arrows I would run out with and then immediately have to reload. Honestly, if I didn't have that extra samurai arrow, I don't know how it would have worked out. It would have been really sloppy at the end. Yeah, it, it, and nothing's quite as bad as when you go in with a Cecil or rocking an ogre act. But uh, you, you're you now one and one, and, and, and you're in the Blitz group, uh, with, Blitz Whip group, hope, and you've got you you still got up three right to play a lot of good names still up against you. Has this upped your confidence for those those upcoming races? Uh, tonight, of course, because realistically, I I didn't I honestly didn't think one. I knew if I was over two hours, I would have lost. I knew if I was under 150, I probably still would have lost. So I'm thinking to myself, I have to be under 145 to even have a shot. And and I would still need help at that point. And all week, all of my practices have been over two hour seeds. So I'm sitting I'm like, well, I'm going in today. I'm like, well, you know, we're just going to go as fast as we possible and see what happens. But I feel a lot better that I'm just under two hours in general. And I knew going against Cubs, I knew it was going to be it was going to be a dogfight, and he gave me a great race, as you saw. And I, when I entered Z and I looked up as I'm halfway through, you know, just to, I peeped to see if anybody was finished. I looked over and I saw nothing, and I was just, my heart just started pounding. Because I'm just, I'm just sitting there, I was like, there's no way he's not done. It's hmm. not a chance. I was well, like, all right. <laughs> well, he wasn't done. You got the victory today. I. You, you you got on, uh, you got on that wind board. All, all we can say is very well uh, raced, and we look forward to seeing and you again, hopefully very soon on on another restream, bringing that momentum further. I appreciate that, and honestly, it doesn't get for my for my group. It doesn't get any easier. I have Sorbius tomorrow. I have uh, I have Reckless Charlie on Sunday afternoon. It 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 doesn't get any easier. So I gotta still try to lower my times. I'm still about 10 minutes off, at least off the pace. But I, tonight, it felt good. And I, I'm i really appreciative. And I appreciate you guys restreaming. I appreciate out me, you know, making sure everybody's over there. Death, like, boy, drag, you know, dad in the background. I appreciate you guys. And I'm glad I was on restream tonight. And I'm looking forward to watching this back relatively really quickly since I have about a 24 hour, a less than 24 hour turnaround. But I'm, <laughs> I'm grateful. And GG to Cubs. He, I knew it was gonna be as exciting. I just didn't. I didn't think we'd be two minutes apart. I'm, I'm very grateful for him, and it, it's been a lot of fun so far. I'm actually glad. I'm, I'm happy I entered the tournament. Yeah. Well, you definitely deserved it today. Hey, you, you go and get some rest. Uh, watch back. Uh, uh, maybe with a different or, or whatever one you particularly prefer, and uh, we will see you again soon. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. You all have a good night. GG's again, Soapbox, and GG's the Cubs for completing the seed. That's and because uh, yep, some some it's not a shame for not finishing seed first, but you know, you some it, when you're there, you're you're at Z, you might as well finish it, and you know, some and some and thank just GG's to Cubs for just completing it. I mean, yeah. it's not. We're not. Um, um, our track, uh, our, our restreamer uh, alchemy um, is sort of giving us mixed messages. If uh, Cubs Rule is going to be coming in for a uh, <laughs> interview, so we will find out about that. H however, we still do have plenty of races tonight, so we will quickly go through those while we are waiting and 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 on on our restream at least ace, ace later on on well currently at the moment we've got our, our scale swift versus couch couch 23 on 
Free Enterprise 2. We'll likely be heading over there uh, very soon after this. We've still got Silverfire versus Rex Rule on Free Enterprise later, and CS Radical versus Mike Mike 32 on Free Enterprise 2 later today. But those are in just a moment. For the moment, we have Cubs Rule. Uh, Earth Crystal didn't work for you today, did it? I mean, don't, doesn't everyone love completion of seeds? You know, the ones where you do everything, even 17 out of 70 objectives. Uh, who could say no to those? Well, everyone. I, 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 figured, <laughs> I, I figured it was worth bailing after the tails. I had the Earth Crystal to go check. I had both tails and still had Wall to go take out. I figured it was worth leaving Crystal and Murrah behind. Um... In hindsight, clearly the correct answer was to go do Crystal and just leave Mura behind, but I don't know. I, I think it's a toss-up in that situation. Yeah, difficult choices, especially since you had technically three checks on the Earth rather than the two remaining on the Moon. So the numbers were sort of heading in the opposite direction at that point. Uh, however, uh, that Fame March, how, that was rude. That wall just... That that was board AI on steroids. That thing was just... It, it was reading my inputs, I swear to God. It knew in advance what I was doing, and I had no chance at the time. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the game is ahead of its time. It knows It knows who you want and who, who has to be alive, and apparently it knows this. Uh, yeah, uh, evil wall at any spot can be can be uh, not not so much fun. It's, it's just, I mean, and but the, but the queen spot not 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 that much better. But at least at least you chose to do that to uh, get progression. I mean, yeah, but you just, like, just let me survive until crush phase. Then the ribbon will do its job. Just let me get to that point, please. Yeah, but after you got the darkness crystal from Mom Bomb, it's like. You had another go at the evil wall, and then you just said, no, I'm leaving. What was your thinking behind that particular decision? Uh, it was at eight key items. I was hoping to spike ten on the moon, just grab some XP. Uh, I was, I had five or six sirens in the bag, so I was going to go, uh, ho I was going to hope for hourglass to, hourglasses on the moon and just do a couple gold dragons, and, well... Healing after fighting gold dragons and getting levels helps because man, those lunars are just perfect sniping on Rosa. <laughs> yeah, Moon uh, Moon had a lot of damage output. No, Ogo, uh, Ogo Pogo gave you a little bit of trouble. Oh, Dark Knight Cecil, you reset a couple of times. One once, yeah, to an Avenger not being yeah. available, uh, not being a useful thing. But th those D Lunas wasn't exactly nice either. So it was everything was seem uh, sort of screaming at you to say, "I, we don't want you here. Go back to the Earth." And you just took that. <laughs> well, I don't know. I I, I wanted the grind. I thought, I, I, at one point, early, I was debating just popping 30 sirens and getting getting Nuke and White on Rydia Palom and uh, Rosa and just going for it. Now, Val at Baron Basement would have had something to say about that, but that was, that was my plan until the Cecil showed up, honestly. Yeah, I've... Oh, yeah, we can't get Val. Uh, Val also did a number on you that first uh, time through. Uh, but you're now one and one. You probably wasn't hoping for this particular outcome, um, to say the least. How's your sort of thinking going into the rest of your matches? This group is ridiculously good. There are some ridiculously talented players. Um, I pretty much think I have to win out to have a shot. These guys, all, everyone in this group is insanely good at this game. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm shocked I'm not 0-2 at the moment. So just being in with the chances, I, I'm just thrilled with that right now, honestly. 
well, well, we'll probably be seeing you a little bit more later down the line. And all we can say is good luck and hopefully you have a bit more, well, a bit of things happening your way next time. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, uh, both of you, Poydrag, Deathlike on comms. Zeno for pushing the buttons, not eating them. Alchemy, we're going to have words later. But uh, thank you very much for the restream, everybody. <laughs> have a good night, all. GG's again, Cubs, uh, for, the, for, the, for the good race. Thank you. And a great race it was. Only a, only a couple minutes it's between them. You can't really ask for more, uh, more than that, can you? Yeah. Well. Uh, I mean, the skills. Uh, I mean, every every person is differently skilled, but when when it's a competitive race, it's close. You know, you you feel you, f you feel good. It's it's not. It doesn't it doesn't happen every day. But yeah. hey, there's more. There are more races to be had. There are more races. Yeah. We can all, uh, we can always ask for more races, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be sending everyone over to the Free Enterprise to uh, uh, stream for Gale Swift versus Couch Twenty Three, which is currently in proce uh, progress. They are running their hearts out, just as everyone in the Adamant Cup is. Really, just go have a watch. Don't uh, don't spoil this particular race. People may want to watch it back. Otherwise. Have some fun. Yep. See you all next seed. And as a reminder, don't spoil it. But this this match or any other match, let, let the runners watch rewatch when they have the chance to. <laughs>